Rashida Ajibadi, well done. Thank you, sir. I want to especially thank you for the equalizer goal in Addis Ababa. It was shot outside the team. It gave us a good relief for every Nigerian that watched watch the game online. Uh, yes, second leg is in the next few hours, couple of hours in Abuja. Uh, when you look at first leg, what can you say about that team, about Ethiopia? Uh, well, I would say first, uh, special thanks to God uh, for giving us the equalizer because what I've done without God. <laughs> so, yeah, special thanks to God first. And uh, yeah, secondly, um, tactically, I would say, of course, I respect everything, but of course, with our standard, with we knowing ourselves individually and as a team, we know that uh, Ethiopia is not a team that we should, you know, be. When it comes to standard, when it comes to the level of football, and it comes to how much more, you know, uh, uh, the record of Nigerian women's football, you know, Ethiopia is, you know, uh, is not uh, Ethiopia is not uh, one of those things that should compete with us. So one would apologize for, you know, the the draw, but we could have done better. But of course, there are a lot of factors that contributed to, you know the players and everything that happens on that day but that's not an excuse we should just make sure our responsibility is to make sure that we're giving our best every time we're being called up and uh, yeah and practically um, of course a lot of things happen in terms of you know the core possession in terms of uh, you know uh, the quality of you know, our passes our position and all of those things that happen on that day but like you said a lot of things happen behind the scene that no one will know and no one can see that you really Really okay, did you miss any of your teammates, uh, the likes of Ashley, the likes of Uchebe, uh, some of the guys, some of the players that were in, uh, at Australia for the FIFA Women's World? Uh, yeah, of course, everybody's important on this team right now, and also players that have gone, you know, that both went to the World Cup, of course, their impact also is, of course, felt, but whichever way, it's every player that are being invited right now also has the capacity and the, you know, the ability to, you know, you know, make sure they give the team the best. But the difference is this: this is the first meeting we're all. This is the first camp we all had now since after the World Cup. So you can expect, you know, now we're like, you know, with new faces and you know, trying to, you know, merge everybody together and everything. So it's not so easy with women's football. You're trying to uh, break them in a few days and you know, just like a day and you play the game the next day. You know, so it's it's a different ball game mentality. So you don't expect magic yet. So. Yeah, of course, hopefully we have them back and also, like I said, I have to 100% believe in the people that are here and I know that they can also give me their best. So, because at the end of the day, national team is not in any man's house. So, two million players out there and uh, anybody could be opportunity to be invited on the camp. So, yeah. So, when you Nigerians are looking at uh, second leg to be a kind of whitewash, a kind of, uh, we're going to produce them, you know, the kind of... Speak up, I can hear you. Clear. Okay, Nigerians are thinking that second leg will be a kind of whitewash. You know, looking at the pedigree of Ethiopia, looking at the pedigree of uh, Super Falcons, Nigeria feeling that, okay, second leg, we'll wrap it up. For you, as a professional footballer, you have been there, you know what is at stake. What, what should Nigerians be expecting on Tuesday? Yeah, of course. For us, honestly, uh, we, it was an saw the match we played against the Ethiopia in the first leg. But like I said, I respect them so much. And also, Looking at the whole result and right now that is flying in the African football and also even in the world football right now, you can honestly push a team over. And you know there are some so many things that could uh, result to that could change the result of a game. You know, you've seen other teams play one more, you've seen big teams lost against a small team and you know, no team is a pushover like I said, but you cannot just also, you know, go to the field being overconfident. You understand? But we would make sure we do our own assignment, we make sure we do uh, we, we clean up every areas where we, you know, we made mistake in the last game and we make sure that we make uh, everything clinical this time and um, of course uh, we're expecting nothing but a win against the Dubia and we make sure we do our best to get that like all series. Once we win on Tuesday, can you just give out a special song? <laughs> Oh, special song. Which guy's special song? You want to <laughs> Any special song you sing that day? <laughs> uh, 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 God has given us victory. <laughs> he has given, he us, has us, given victory. us victory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rashida Tajiba, yeah. for speaking with Tori News exactly. at the camp of Super Falcons. All the best on Tuesday Thank and you. all the best in your career. Thank, Thank you. you very much.